There are so many reasons as to why Lionel Messi is considered the greatest of all time. One of his most remarkable attributes is his unrivaled dribbling ability, which has left countless defenders in his wake, both in his younger age and even at the age of 36. Throughout his illustrious career, Messi has completed a staggering 3,079 dribbles, with 2,392 in domestic leagues and 687 in the prestigious Champions League. On average, he successfully executes 4.56 dribbles every 90 minutes, a feat that is nothing short of extraordinary. But how does he make it seem so effortless? That's why today, we delve into the fascinating science behind his breathtaking dribbling skills. But before we dig deeper into the science, let's rewind a bit. It's not a secret that as an 11-year-old, Messi faced a significant hurdle when he was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, resulting in his small stature. His Barcelona contract even included provisions for covering his medical expenses. Remarkably, even today, Messi stands at a mere 1.7 meters. However, this medical setback turned out to be a serendipitous twist of fate, ultimately contributing to his status as the greatest of all time. In essence, he is scientifically engineered to excel on the pitch, a bold claim will substantiate with some simple physics. Real Madrid legend, Raul often marvels at Messi's dribbling, describing it as, he was running with the ball at 100% full speed. I don't know how many touches he took, maybe five or six, but the ball was glued to his foot. It's practically impossible. Despite his physical disadvantages, Messi rarely succumbs to tackles or falls amidst a crowd of formidable opponents. His mastery of the ball is truly undeniable, and this tenacity can be attributed to his remarkably low center of gravity. Now, let's dive into the science behind center of gravity. When gravity exerts force on an object, every particle within that object is pulled toward the Earth, resulting in the object's weight. But where does this force act? Simply put, all these individual forces can be summed up into a single force acting on a specific point on the object. This point is known as the center of gravity. The center of gravity varies depending on an object's weight distribution and shape. For a perfect sphere, this point lies at the center, but it shifts as the shape changes. In humans, the center of gravity is estimated to be around the waist area. Notably, it is lower for shorter and stout individuals and higher for taller ones. The relevance of a person's center of gravity becomes evident when considering balance and stability. Imagine tilting your head forward gradually. With each tilt, your center of gravity moves upwards, where the weight increases. Without adjusting your footing, gravity's pull on this new point will create a torque, causing you to fall. The extent of this tumbling force depends on the distance between the new point and the original center of gravity. Taller people find it more challenging to balance when subjected to multiple pushes because this distance is greater for them. Conversely, shorter individuals with a smaller distance maintain better balance. Returning to Messi, we can now fathom why he manages to stay on his feet despite relentless tackles and pushes. His low center of gravity not only grants him balance but also enables rapid acceleration and deceleration in short bursts. Messi is not alone in benefiting from this phenomenon. Other prolific dribblers like Aiden Hazard, Sergio Aguero, and Alexis Sanchez owe part of their dribbling prowess to their short stature and, consequently, their low center of gravity. It's the science behind the magic that makes these players truly exceptional on the football pitch. When discussing Lionel Messi's incredible dribbling skills, it's important to recognize the hard work he put into homing these talents. As a youngster, Messi wasn't the physically strongest player on the pitch. He knew he couldn't just rely on his natural gifts. He had to train relentlessly to compete at the highest level. Messi's passion and drive for excellence led him to develop a unique form of strength that couldn't be attributed solely to genetics. He worked tirelessly to outshine even the strongest defenders. Messi possesses a remarkable combination of endurance and speed, partly influenced by his genetic makeup. Research shows that dribbling a football is physically demanding, increasing the production of lactic acid which is responsible for muscle fatigue and that burning sensation after intense exercise. Messi's explosive bursts of acceleration and deceleration during his dribbles actually put more strain on his body than simple sprinting. This is important because genetics play a role in speed, power, and endurance. For example, studies indicate that genetic factors influence these traits by varying degrees, with endurance being influenced 40% to 70% by genetics. 
So, while Messi was naturally gifted in terms of his speed and endurance, it's vital not to disregard the immense effort he put into nurturing these talents. In addition to his exceptional physical attributes, Messi's dribbling prowess is undeniably enhanced by his extraordinary cognitive abilities. His footballing IQ enables him to read the game at an astonishing pace, giving him a decisive edge over his opponents. This mental acumen ensures that Messi is consistently one step ahead of his adversaries on the field. Thus, when we marvel at Messi's dribbling skills, we must acknowledge that they are not solely a product of his remarkable footwork, but are also intricately linked to the remarkable workings of his brain. In conclusion, Lionel Messi's dribbling prowess is a mesmerizing blend of physics, genetics, talent, and sheer dedication. It's a beautiful testament to how the science behind the sport can elevate a player to legendary status. So, the next time you witness Messi weaving his magic on the field, remember it's not just a game. It's science in motion, and it's nothing short of extraordinary. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.